Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 10.1.1 released yesterday along with iOS 17.1.1 and watchOS 10.1.1 is available around the world at the same time for everyone. As long as you're on a series four or later Apple watch that's running watchOS 10.1 or earlier. If you're on watchOS 10.2 betas, you won't see this update as you're actually on a newer version. But if you're on watchOS 10.1 or earlier, you should have the update as long as you're on a supported device. Now this particular version came in at 169 megabytes. That's going to vary greatly depending on which version you're upgrading from, but it's not a huge update overall. Let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about what's new. So we'll go down to settings here, go into settings, then we'll go to general, then about. And as you can see, the actual build number is 21S71. The build number just lets you know that you're on the most current version and you can check your version number here as well. Sometimes there's different builds depending on the devices. Now, as far as what this update resolves, well, this resolves one major issue that many people were experiencing. If we go back into the notes here, you'll see it says this update provides important bug fixes and addresses an issue that could cause the battery to drain more quickly for some users. Now we know it fixes the battery update, but we don't know if it fixes anything else. However, that's the major issue most people were having on watchOS 10 or watchOS 10.1 specifically. This seems to resolve it as it seemed to be caused by third party apps before. So Apple has not said that they've resolved anything else other than the battery bug for the Apple watch. So that should be resolved on this update. And also it shouldn't really have any other issues, hopefully, as it was pretty stable overall, just in general. As far as security updates, if we go to Apple's security website, on their security website, if we scroll down, you'll see here it says watchOS 10.1.1. This update has no published CVE entries. That doesn't mean there's a security update, it just means they haven't published anything for it. But it's available for Apple Watch Series 4 and later. So just like iOS 17.1.1, they didn't publish any information about it. Sometimes though, they will update this in the future once the bugs have actually been sort of out for a little while that they've patched, then they'll update this once in a while. Sometimes they won't as well. Now, as far as anything else, well, overall performance, I wouldn't expect to be affected as it's a major bug fix for the battery issue. But other than that, it really shouldn't do anything else. Additionally, battery life, of course, will take a few days to measure. But if we take a look at this device, we'll go down here to settings again. And this one is a little bit older Apple Watch that I've had. This was the one I used before the Apple Watch Ultra. So I thought we'd take a look at it. We go down to battery. I used it for an entire year. If we scroll down battery health, this one is actually at 93% after an entire year of using it. Now my Apple watch ultra is at 100% after a full year of using it. Now I'm on the Apple watch ultra two with the betas, but generally they seem to last pretty well, especially the ultra just charging them every single night. I've had no issues with that. Now, as far as any other releases, well, watchOS 10.2 betas are still going on right now. At the time of this video, I would expect maybe an update later today at this point with the watchOS betas. However, we could see that the next day or sometime next week, but typically I would expect it today since we had watchOS 10.1.1 yesterday. As far as anything else, iOS 17.2 and watchOS 10.2 will probably release in the first or second week of December. Last year, we had it released around the 13th of December, so I would expect it then with some new features, updates, and more. And so that's everything with watchOS 10.1.1. It's a pretty small update, and I just wanted to keep you informed, as many of you have asked me to make this video, but let me know if there's anything else you found in it in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.